What is up guys, it's your boy Rick Kabalkakis and today we have the guide for how to get the brand new Dead Messenger exotic grenade launcher just added into Destiny 2 with the launch of Season 16, Season of the Risen alongside the Witch Queen expansion. And so, let's get started. Now first things first, let's take a look at this weapon so you know if you want to go after it. It's going to have the intrinsic perk Trinary Vision. One shot handheld grenade launcher projectiles release a fan of three energy waves on contact with the ground. It also has the ability to switch between the three different elements of solar, arc, and void. And as you can see from the background gameplay, it's basically a super juiced up wave frame grenade launcher with a substantially bigger killing radius. And especially being able to switch elements, oh, that's perfect with elemental well builds. In any event, how do you get it? So this is actually gonna become available after a few different quests. So we are gonna go over those, just go over the order you need to do things in order to get this. So first things first, you are going to need to complete is the initial season 16 quest, Rising Tensions. And you're going to get this upon talking to Ikora for the first time in the Enclave, as you can see. Now, most of it you do at the same time you're doing like the very beginning mission to the Witch Queen and so on, but eventually it will kind of branch off and you do need to do the PsyOps Battleground EDZ on Earth, after doing that, you go back to the helm, you'll get a legendary machine gun, and then you're gonna get access to a completely different quest. And it's called Operation Elbrus. Now it does have 28 steps, but you won't need to do all of them. This quest is actually meant to do over multiple resets. However, if you do the portion that you can do in this first initial reset, you will get access to that exotic quest. In any event, the first thing you have to do is collect 500 intel. Now, how the heck do you do that? Well, firstly, it says gather intel by completing the Witch Queen campaign missions in the throne world. I, for one, did the entirety of the legendary campaign before I even started this quest, so I have no progress there. By the way, did a video on a bunch of tips and loadouts to help you guys beat the legendary campaign. I would highly recommend checking that out because the final exotic quest is going to be a pretty high light level, but you can also get intel from public events, strikes, crucible, gambit, and other activities. So we did go into the crucible, and as you can see, just random while I'm playing, I just get 40 intel as a material on the right side of my screen. So just by grinding those said activities, if you don't want to do the campaign, you will eventually accumulate the 500 and then your quest step will update as you can see. And now you have to go into another PsyOps battleground and secure the ruined chest. So, load it up via the helm and do the Battlegrounds mission as normal. However, at the very end, you're going to notice that two chests actually spawn. You have a normal reward chest that you can have access to always, and then you have that ruin chest, and that costs specifically 500 psychogenic intel which you just acquired. So spend your intel to open the chest, your quest step is going to update, and now you have to claim the psychogenic decoder. And this is actually just going to be within your seasonal challenges. So head into your quest tab, go into your seasonal challenges and claim the very top left hand one. It's going to give you an insight material. Then you're going to have to head back to the helm. Once you're there, you're then going to be able to upgrade the war table. Now, which one you pick is up to you. However, I did go with throne world surveillance just to collect more psychogenic info because you're going to be using a lot of it in the long run. In any event, once you pick an upgrade, you're then going to have to listen to a debriefing by Lord Saladin. And once you accept that, then Cadle will come up and offer you, as you can see, a brand new exotic quest 
kill the messenger. Now, this is going to let you access an exotic mission that has just become available within the throne world destination. As you can see, the recommended power is 1550. This is no joke. However, my whole team did it at about 1520 to 1530. So it is definitely possible to overcome this mission as a lower light. And there are going to be unstoppable champions, so make sure someone has something that can stun them. Now, you're going to start things out on Mars, and this is actually like the Destiny 1 Mars. That's right, they brought this whole area back for this one mission. Kind of weird, but in any event, you're going to work your way into this Cabal base, and then you're going to encounter one of two red doors, and you actually open this up by busting through with a vehicle, as you can see. Yeah, we definitely didn't expect that. Now, as you continue forward, you take out a tank and then a Drake tank is dropped for you. So you can actually have a teammate grab this and you will need someone in the tank in order to complete the upcoming objectives. In fact, there is going to be several timed objectives. So make sure you're looking in the top left corner of your screen during this mission, because if you don't do these objectives in time, you'll have to wipe and restart. So the first thing you need to do is take out two different Red Legion Goliath tanks. Once you do that, you're then going to have to destroy the three different signal towers and you can do that by shooting it in the optimal location with the drag tanks as you can see. So I'm out just helping kill ads, but again, you will need someone in those tanks to complete these objectives. Likewise, with the next red door, we tried rocket launchers, Nova bombs, but nothing opened it up until a tank shot it. You may also be able to use these smaller cabal vehicles, it just might take longer to blast open the door. Now, once you've made your way inside, you're going to have three different objectives and each one plays out the same. You're going to have a completely immune scion, but if you look around the area of this scion, as you can see, there's going to be a, another separate scion with a different kind of shield. This one's still going to be immune, but as you can see, if you go inside and melee this scion, then the first one, the one outside, becomes available to damage. So simply do this at the three separate locations. Now, once you do complete this, and keep in mind the whole thing is timed, you're then going to go into another room, and this time you have a boss fight. So you have a giant scion that you will need to damage. Once you get it down to a third, it becomes immune. And so throughout this arena, there's going to be more immune scions that you have to melee. So one is gonna be up to the left, one is gonna be on the platform up to the right, and one is gonna be on the upper platform directly kind of behind where you first walked in as you can see so once you've meleeed or just shot frankly all of those different scions the immune shield of the boss is going to go down and then you can progress to the next damage phase then becomes immune do it again and then once you eventually do kill this final boss you head up into kind of the treasure room as you can see Kadal is giving a bunch of dialogue, but as she's bloviating away, you're actually able to just go over to this nearby uh, chest right here and open it up. And that is going to get you just outright the dead messenger. And so guys, there you go. Now there is a catalyst associated with it. It's not available right now, but it is for doing the harder difficulty of this mission we just did. Of course, expect a guide when that does become available. And so guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, found it informative, and if you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys wanna see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you wanna get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis, that is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.